There he goes. All right, my friends, welcome back to the Wade Fishing Experience. My name is Matt, and I appreciate y'all tuning in this afternoon. Got a beautiful day, light wind, a little bit of overcast, and uh, the water is just super clear today. Looking really good, y'all. I'm just kind of playing it by ear today. I, I'm out here on the flat. I am looking for big schools of mullet. I'm gonna probably try to snag a mullet for cut bait if I can using the old mullet snagger 5000 but honestly if i can pick up an artificial bite i would much rather do that we don't have a ton of time to work with so i don't want to spend a whole lot of time trying to get bait so we may just abort that completely um, if we can get on a bite but that's the plan stay tuned and we're going to get on a fish y'all i decided to carry two rods today which is something i don't normally do but i wanted to have one set up for snagging mullet and the other just rigged for artificials so i could if i wasn't able to get live bait then i could definitely just fish artificials and not have to worry about switching rigs all the time um, i wanted to tell you that because you guys will see me you will see that second rod um, throughout the video and uh, just wanted to point that out i did not have any luck snagging mullet though all righty my friends I will show y'all what I am working with today. This is the Salt Strong Slam Shady 2.0 paddle tail. The Slam Shady is their proprietary color. This paddle tail is also scented. This has been a good bait for me in the past. I haven't used it a ton lately. I've got that on a 1 8 ounce Mission Fishing jig head. I've got 20 pound floral on. I've got my Fenwick HMG inshore 7.6 medium light rod and my Quantum Smoke Inshore 30 reel spooled with 10 pound Power Pro Braid. That is what we're gonna start with and go from there. Holy moly, y'all. Look at this dang Stingray. Giant, freaking giant. Ooh, there's a nice one, y'all. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. On the Slam Shady. First fish of the afternoon, y'all. That's a nice red, too. Oh, it's a nice red. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is a solid fish, y'all. This is a real solid fish. Oh, man. Getting my confidence back on artificials, y'all. That last trip, catching those banger trout, man, that helped a lot. And uh, right now, I tell you what, man, these salt strong lures seem to be the trick. First, it was the Power Prawn USA, and now is the Slam Shady 2.0, which has historically been a go to bait for me, but I have not been using it a ton lately, y'all. Oh, this is a nice red, y'all. This is a very nice red fish. Yep. Yes, sir. Beauty, beauty. He's not ready yet. He is not ready yet. Man, he hammered this thing too. Yeah, that's an upper slot. I don't know if we'll keep any fish today. Not sure that we will keep any fish today. Golly gee, man, he's a burner. I tell you what, y'all. Yup. Man, oh man. All right, I'm gonna tighten up on him just a little bit, but he is just a bulldog, man. He's a big, strong redfish. Big, strong red. Just a pulling and pulling. Come here, boss. Yeah, come here. We'll get you set up. We're going to get you set up here. Oh, he's going this way, y'all. Nope, don't go that way. That's bad for the camera. Yeah, we got to go this way. All right, let's see if we can get this guy in the net. Got a really nice hook set in it. Yup. Oh my, y'all. This is a stud. Holy moly. I don't even know if he'll fit in the dang net. He might not fit in the net. I don't think we're gonna be able to net him. 
All right. Well, that's one way to do it. Come here, boss. You guys. Look at this stud. Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh, y'all. This guy is a stud stud. Slam Shady 2.0 with the Mission Fish and Jig Head. I love it, man. Yeah, this guy's probably right at the top of the slot or probably a little over. I think he's probably 20. Yeah, he's probably 27, 28. But uh, beautiful fish. Let's, uh, let's get the hook out and get a release on him. Okay. Man, that hook was buried. Buried. Oh, oh this is a nice fish. I mean, he's... He's six pounder probably. It's just freaking gorgeous, y'all. Let's get a release on him. And then we gotta go collect the neck that's floating away. Uh, is that me bleeding or is that the fish bleeding? I don't know. Oh man, this is a nice one, y'all. There he goes. Thank you, buddy. Thanks for playing, man. Woo! There's a fish. Oh, that one popped off. Take gum it. That felt like a trout. Oh, oh, oh dang gum it y'all we just dropped a good fish all righty my friends quick update it's been a little over an hour since i picked up that red fish the sun is slowly starting to sink down and i'm going to switch over to top water to see if we can entice a bite i've got my favorite top water plug and that is the rapala skitter walk y'all i'm going to use the bone color it's classic and uh, we'll see if we can entice a redfish, snook, or a trout to hit the top water, y'all. Stay tuned. Well, I'll be darned. I just cast that dang thing off. I mean, just straight off, y'all. I don't even know what's going on here. That was freaking hilarious. Okay. Maybe we try this again. Not sure what happened there. Here's my plug. Okay, epic fail. Big ol' stingrays today, y'all. Man, oh man. Why are all these stingrays here? We are surrounded by freaking stingrays, y'all. What is going on? I think it might be their mating season or something, but holy crap. All right, y'all. I'll show you what I'm talking about with these stingrays. friends that is going to do it for this episode we are quickly losing light if i do catch any more fish i will drop them after this clip but yeah not a bad day came out here after work and caught a stud redfish on artificials so 
well I wanted to get more fish and I had a couple bites um, the bite just really wasn't very good this uh, this afternoon this evening so we will be happy with our overslot red and yeah y'all I think it's stingray bre breeding season so be careful out there um, if you start to see a lot of the bigger ones in the area there's gonna be a lot more um, I've never seen this many on the flat and I think it is time of year I think it's breeding season I've never seen that many big ones in the concentrated area so that's my guess as to what is going on with the stingrays but anyway appreciate y'all tuning in we will see you next time on the wade fishing experience all right well we survived but we get everything hung up in the trees here come on all right we survived the old mangrove path let's go home and eat <laughs>